The Heist Challenge community event officially begins today. Plus, there's other money-making opportunities and some Black Friday discounts that'll be happening coming up on Black Friday. Newswire, link below in the description section. Plus, there's some login rewards as well. Two years ago, there was a previous Heist Challenge where the community like made up to like a trillion dollars and this time around rockstar has set the bar a little bit higher two trillion dollars that we as a community have to reach by taking part in any heist finale you will be able to help the community reach the two trillion dollar goal so if we reach the two trillion dollar goal we're going to unlock a special reward coming later this year so rockstar once again lack of transparency are just at least teasing us what that reward is going to be. They could have done that, but did they know? So we have no idea what the special reward is. Now there's two other leaked items that we know about thanks to Wild Brick. Both of them are varsity jackets, the diamond varsity jacket and the Pacific standard varsity jacket. So the special reward could be one or both of those jackets for all we know. And speaking of Pacific Standard, going on this week, you can earn double money, double RP in the Pacific Standard finale. So that is a great way to make money. And I believe Kane is going to be streaming the Pack Standard stream tomorrow over on his channel. I'll be joining him along with a few others. There's also double cash, double RP on all setup missions for the classic heists. A 1.5 times cash and RP payouts for all prep missions for the Doomsday Heist as well. Not only does doing the Pacific Standard Heist pay out double cash, double RP, but completing the Pack Standard Finale will get you this week the Pack Standard Sweater. To celebrate 25 years of GTA, two more login shirts that you can get this week. The Wasted T-shirt as well as the Rampage T-shirt. So you have an opportunity to get either or both shirts this week simply by logging into Grand Theft Auto Online to celebrate the 25 year history of GTA. There's a few other opportunities to make additional cash in the game this week. You got what uh, two and a half times the amount of cash and RP for pursuit races. Bodyguards and associates are also getting bonus payouts. You can earn extra money working for Martin Madrazo in the Madrazo Dispatch Services. And additional cash and RP doing Hunting Pack Remix Adversary Mode. For those of you interested in some potential money making businesses, the bunker property 50% off, bunker upgrades modifications 50% off. And the auto shop property is also 40% off this week, along with the auto shop upgrades and modifications. And then there's also the Black Friday discounts, which are happening November 25th through the 28th. So if you don't have a yacht yet, you've been uh, eyeing a yacht, uh, they are going to be 50% off for the yachts and the upgrades and modifications. The Ruiner 2000 is 40% off, but it is a warehouse vehicle. Therefore, you cannot sell it. So when you buy it, it's yours forever. The Deluxo is 50% off. So this is a car a lot of people like to have in the game. It's uh, very useful and it's got weapons if you want to upgrade it. The Deluxo, 50% off. And the Ruiner 2000, 40% off. And Yacht Stuff is 50% off on Black Friday weekend. There's other discounts as well. Broomstick, rocket bikes, they're 50% off. The Alkanos, not a very good plane. It's 50% off. Most of this is kind of fun. I guess the Avenger's a good deal. It's 50% off, so that might be worth having, but you need a facility for that. The Scramjet's kind of fun. It's 50% off. The Torador's also very useful. It's 50% off as well. The Torero XO is a very good supercar, 40% off. So there are some potential deals here on uh, the Black Friday discounts, but some of them you may want to pass on. It just depends on which of these entice you the most. And finally, the last car in the Dripocalypse until the next update comes out in December. The Sentinel Classic Widebody is now available I think it's a $700,000 upgrade at Benny's, so it's obviously going to cost you more money to upgrade the uh, Sentinel Classic to a Sentinel Classic Widebody. Once again, the Sentinel Classic Widebody is dripped out, finally available for all of you that have been looking forward to this variation of the Sentinel Classic. Article, once again, link below in the description section. The Heist Challenge has begun from now through November 30th. 
if we earn over two trillion dollars in the game combined from doing all the finales or whatever finales you want to do for example once again this week pack standard double money double rp for the finale we will unlock a special reward later this year it could very well just be one of the remaining varsity jackets the diamond or the pack standard varsity jackets or it might be a new car being dripped out with the next update or something else entirely. What it is, who knows? It would be nice if Rockstar would simply let us know and tease us what that special reward is going to be, especially if it's going to be tied into the next update. By the way, why are they not teasing the next update yet is beyond me, but this is typical of Rockstar. Maybe they'll do it this coming Thursday or next week or around the 12th of Never. It will be hilarious if we as a community manage to get uh, $2 trillion earned only to get a lousy varsity jacket. <laughs> but that wouldn't really surprise me either. Your thoughts, your views, and opinions, as always, welcome below in the comments section. Mm -hmm.